you so much, Cade. Well, today we got an inside look at the Traveling Sistine Chapel exhibition in Salt Lake uh, City. ABC 4's photojournalist Tony McKay-Alien has the sights and sounds. Starting to transform this venue into what would be like the Sistine Chapel, so you'll be able to see all these uh, images up close starting tomorrow. As you can see, they're getting ready to roll the red carpet down here. <laughs> Right now we're, we're installing our red carpet for everybody to walk on to, so they can enjoy the images. This is the creation of Adam. This is the most, one of the most iconic pieces, but this is when God touches man. And uh, so many times it's been featured, the fingers that are right here. It's very important for everything to be spaced perfectly so that you don't see too many images at one time. Can you give us a slice, a straight slice right here? This is the first time uh, that we've had an event like this uh, in Salt Lake City or Utah overall. We have five units that are going throughout the U.S. And of course, when you come to Utah, what other city than Salt Lake City? We have a little batch. When you come here, you'll see all this artwork and it's just stunning that what he did. We uh, created these units. We have five internationally and five in the U.S. So we're really excited to bring this culture. These are over 500 years old, these masterpieces. And just so everybody knows, these are the exact images that are on the ceiling and the exact size. When you look up the 60 feet, if you ever make it to Rome, you'll be able to say, hey, I saw I saw the exact thing right in front of me in Salt Lake City. A great feature about this show is a 20 minute video. We have a comedian and a Michelangelo animated character and they banter uh, against each other and in a fun way they give you all the important facts of how Michelangelo did this for the five years that he created these 33 frescoes and then he came back 20 years later and did The Last Judgment. That took him another five years. All right, fascinating. Thanks for that, Tony. If you'd like to see the exhibit, you can get tickets when it opens tomorrow.